have come to our festas where we change lives. All right. So we're going to say a short prayer. So we're going to start with um, a we're going to start with a Thanksgiving. Hi. <laughs> All right. So we'll be reading from Psalms 100 verse 4. It says, "Enter to his gates with thanksgiving." and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. So tonight we are going to lift up our voice and we are going to thank the Lord for his love, for his faithfulness. Open your mouth and praise your Lord today. Bless his holy name. Open your mouth and praise your Father. Bless His holy name. Thank Him for who He is in your life. Thank Him for that job. Thank Him for your marriage. Thank Him for your life. Thank Him for your family. Thank Him for your children. Open your mouth and praise the holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says that we should build ourselves up in the most holy faith. So we should sing, we should pray in the Holy Ghost. So open your mouth and say, pray in the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness. Be thy exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. Be thy exalted in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Thank, thank your Father. Open your mouth and thank your Father. Thank Him for all that He is. Thank Him because of the things He does in your life. Thank Him. Thank Him. Open your mouth and praise your Lord. We bless your holy name, Father. Be thy daughter in the mighty name of Jesus. We might not be where we want to be, but we know that we are not where we used to be. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. So, I'm sure most of us came today to the night of worship with expectations. So I'm here to tell you that as the uh, book of Proverbs 23, 18 said, surely there is a future and a reward and your hope and your expectations will not be cut off. So I declare over your lives today that the expectations that you came tonight with, you will not live with it in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will meet you at your very need in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and declare over those expectations. If you have expectations to give birth, if you have expectations for a good job, if you have expectations for marriage settlement, you declare over your expectations, saying that you are leaving it, dropping it at the feet of God, in the mighty name of Jesus, because this is the confidence that we have in Christ Jesus, that everything that we ask, we know that we will answer all our needs, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, Pray, 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 pray. Stay yourself in the Holy Spirit. Tell yourself up in the Holy Spirit. Open your mouth and pray. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Eka sosa hina matika tala. Masosa hina kasela hana masosa. Mesa nana makasosa had hina. Father, we thank you. Eka sosa hina matika tala basola. Mena hana masosa hina kasela. Make your kitchen kasoda had hina kasela. Mena hana masosa hina. Father, we thank you. We thank your holy name. We believe that all that we have asked for, we have received it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So the Bible says that you should shout with joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. So tonight, being our night of worship, we are going to shout with joy. Celebrating the Lord. Thanking him for who he is. Celebrate your father. Bless his holy name. In Jesus' name. Come on, have your sons if you want to do to shout to Jesus. Oh, come on, come on. Amen. I give Jesus a shout. He's worthy tonight. Worthy to be able to come and be glad to be in God's house. Look for somebody who's excited. Tell them, are you glad to be in God's house tonight? What did they say? 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone that is excited to be in the presence of God tonight, shout a great hallelujah. I want you to do something for me. Give your neighbor a high five and tell him or her, welcome to your night of empowerment. If the person is not answering you well, tell the person, welcome to my night of empowerment. Hallelujah. 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 Someone who is excited to be in God's house tonight, you may have your seat as kings and queens before the king of kings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're all welcome. You're welcome to Harvesters International Christian Center, a place where the word of God is ministered to transform lives. Hallelujah. We want to say a very special welcome also to our online audience watching us all over the world in tonight's midweek service. Hallelujah. How many of us know what tonight is? Tonight is the night of worship. I thought somebody would be excited. Hallelujah. Do you know why you should be excited that this is a night of worship? Worship is one of the privileges we have as Christians to bring down the presence of God into every situation. In the book of Psalm 22 verse 3, it says, The Lord inhabits the praises of the saints. So when you praise God, God comes down to inhabit your praises. Hallelujah. That's why I'm sure some of you tonight will be living with your perfume, being the perfume of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Somebody say, my perfume is the perfume of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Say it like a minute. My perfume, my fragrance is the fragrance of the Holy Ghost tonight. Hallelujah. For those of you that were here last week, I'm sure you know what I mean. Something even greater is bound to happen here tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to be doing something special again tonight. Um, for those of you that have your testimonies, right, we'll give you an opportunity to share your testimony. So just please move to the right side of the stage. That is my left, so that the pastors can take your testimonies. Why is it important to share your testimonies? In the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, it says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. So to overcome fully, you need to share your testimonies. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 15, it says, Let us offer the sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks unto the name of the Lord. So if you want to give God thanks for that thing that he has done or that thing that he's still doing in process and you want it to be perfected, please move to my left. That is your right side of the stage and one of the pastors will see you and take your testimonies. Hallelujah. As we continue the service tonight, I would like to encourage each and every one of us to put away all distractions. Let your hearts be open to receive. One thing I can guarantee you is God is here. It's now up to you to receive before you leave here tonight. So make sure you do put aside all distractions or anything that will take away your concentration and just open up yourself to be filled by the Holy Ghost here tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is somebody excited to be here tonight? Once again, let's hear that scream. Hallelujah. In furtherance of the service, please let's fix our eyes on the screen for the remaining announcements. God bless you. One time with me this Saturday, 8 a.m. It will personally change the way you think. You'll be packed about the Spirit of God and your life will go to a new level. Make sure that everyone you know that is a walker or a leader in Harvest's Lake gets come. It will be a blessing to you. Are you ready to answer the clarion call? From Harvesters International Christian Center, join the Lord's Army and give your reasonable service by serving others. In the workforce, we bond, pray, disciple, fellowship, network, and bring glory to God. There are various departments you can join, such as workers' recruitment and onboarding, counseling, leadership development, evangelism, publicity, traffic, parking, crowd control, greeters, guest welcome, videography, photography, choir, instrumentals, kids zone, prayers, intercessory, venue management, finance and admin, protocol, benevolence, growth track and more. If you have leadership capacity and are willing to serve, sign up for leadership now. Remember Matthew 9:37. The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Praise God.
God. Is somebody happy to be in the house of the Lord tonight? If you are happy and you know, and you know that you are happy to be here, I'd like you to please join me, rise to your feet, as we begin to engage heavens tonight. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! I'd like us to please turn to our feet. Yes, 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 the presence of God is here. The presence of God is here. See, when God meets with men, great things happen. I'd like you to know that you are returning from here tonight a great man and a great woman in the name of Jesus. Aha! Now first, we are going to be thanking God and in all of what, in all of what we'll be doing right now, we're going to be doing it in the spirit. The Bible said in the book of Jude chapter number 1 verses 20, it said, building up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You're going to be building up your faith tonight by thanking God for all that he has done since the year began up until this day in her verses. Open your mouth to begin to bless the Lord in the Holy Ghost. Let God hear your voice. Let God hear your voice. Hear me, the boy. Aya la mana mo supporto pote, emele posa ya, sena mekada. Hey, is God hearing your voice? Is God hearing your voice? Is God hearing your voice? Open your mouth, cry out in the Holy Ghost. Ekata kape kosa, emele kada. Aya, erepeke tosa, mana kapo, meteke posa ya, ela boy, sena mekapo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Right now, we're going to again be engaging the power of the Spirit for sanctification, you know, upon our lives. Hallelujah. We're going to be engaging the power of the Spirit for sanctification upon our life. Bible speaking. Yes, for we're going to pray. We're praying actually for consecration. We're praying for consecration. We're going to be sanctified tonight. The fire of the Holy Ghost is going to come down to purify us from every filthiness of body, soul, and spirit. Bible speaking. Bible speaking in the book of Joshua, chapter number 3, verses 5. Aha! And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves. Aha! For tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders. I'm following sanctification tonight. Wonders of God is going to be erupted here tonight. I like you to open your mouth and begin to declare. Aya kakata kasa pando be. Aya ne de 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 de. Aya pa. Aya kada kabo kosa. Ele be kosa ta. Aya da. Ele kada kade. A pelo pena. Senamato. Ika pa. Ika pa. Ika pa. Ika pa. Ika pa. Sapa. E rapakata. Senamato ka. Senamato da. Aya kaba kada da 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 da. E.
Bible said, the testimony of the Lord is a spirit of prophecy. Now, we're going to be hearing what God has done in the lives of our beloved brethren tonight. And hearing them will replicate same in your life. In the name of Jesus. I want to invite, you know, the testifier there. To testify of God's goodness in our life. Hallelujah. Oh, it's God hearing your clap. Clap for Jesus. Oh, shut up. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. What the issue was, what your, you know, action were, and what God did in one minute. Hallelujah. Okay, good evening, church. My name is Hayomide. So this, my testimony, is long overdue. So um, from 2021 to 2022, I was in a very toxic relationship that was violent. I mean, the peak of violence. And after I fought to leave the relationship June last year, so after I left... I just was existing. I didn't, I was angry at God because it was like a thing of, I was always part of the people that would say, it can never be me. I would never tolerate that. Never say never until we are in that position. So this was, I mean, smack downs. That's, that's the level of it. So I was basically now existing, doing all manner of things, everyly drinking, clubbing, just trying to find comfort in places that were not meant to be. I continued that way. I drew back from people. I was, I, I didn't like God at that point in time. So one thing that God showed me was that even despite my distance, he was very close to me. I drew back from people, but God used a friend of mine. That November of 2022, Pastor Balaji did emotional baggage. And then that friend sent me the link. I was still like, what's my business with this? But then I watched it. And I got to know that, yes, I had a lot to deal with. I had a lot to let go of. There was a lot from childhood. There was a lot of, even from adulthood, that I had to, like, basically cleanse myself from. I then was listening. I cried. I broke down. However, I still drew back because I was struggling between the lifestyle of the world and then finding God. Because at the end of the day, I realized that God was the solution. But how would I get to God? Then Wine Press 2023 came. <sighs> God, Lord, help me. So Wine Press 2023 came. And I thank God the Avestas has communities everywhere. Because that day, I blindly followed them to church for wine press. And the Lord, the Holy Spirit ministered to me that if you can give me yourself, you will sing this song that see what the Lord has done for the entirety of this year. And then I said, okay, Lord, I'm submitting myself. So I dropped everything, the drinking, everything. I let go of it. Then... Pastor Balaji, I don't know. God, I thank you for using him as a vessel. Because at that point, I was thinking of killing myself. I mean, violence is something I've never been exposed to. There are days that the devil will tell me, stab yourself. Oh, drink sniper. There's no purpose of your existence. Because this person I left was telling me that I can be nothing without him. So I had that mindset. Though, I was not that way. I was fine before I met this person. So having to leave... Then coming into the community, feeding myself with the word, I didn't only get emotional breakthrough, I got spiritual growth. Although my journey has not been perfect, but through the teachings of Pastor Bolaji, he has blessed me. He has blessed me far beyond his imaginations. Like my life has changed. My name is Ayo and I exude joy. I am, I, in fact, I am a testimony. I thank God. Congratulations, congratulations. Hallelujah. Praise God. Put your hands together as we welcome our beloved sister coming. Hallelujah. Woo. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> My name is Tuminino Ikenomia and... I must say I'm a changed life, right? Harvestas has changed my life in a way I cannot explain and I cannot imagine. And one thing I know God helped me with was 
coming into Avestas and also coming into the community. So you can just come to church like this and just be sitting down. But there's also a community. If you want to grow as a Christian, if you want to change your life, there is a community that you have to join. We have small groups, we have departments. And it has impacted my life in so many ways that I cannot explain. It grew my, <clears throat> my Christianity, my prayer life. Imagine praying three hours and you're not tired. It grew my prayer life. It grew my consistency in wanting to know God, right? I never knew that I could see God, feel the presence of the Holy Spirit, even smell the presence of the Holy Spirit. I never knew there was anything like that. And, you know, God has helped me. Harvestas is my home. And the first day I stepped here, I said, God, if you want me to remain here, make it convenient for me to come to church. I don't miss midweek service. I don't miss Sunday services. It's not because I'm trying to form all righteous. This is the life that I live. This is what I am. This is, this is what is associated with me. Whoever it is I was that time, if you knew me before, I'm sorry you don't know me. This is new to me. So I am here to tell you that God can use anybody. And there's this song that came to my head last night, and it says, you look, beyond my, you look beyond me. So it doesn't matter what you think you have done. It doesn't matter who you think you were. God can use anybody. He doesn't want to use the people that are righteous. He wants to people, use the people that, you know, this one they'll say, it's not possible. Those are the kind of people that God will take the glory from. So I just want to thank God for how he miraculously helped me. I am now a leader in Harvesters to the glory of God. And it couldn't have happened by just coming to church. Trust me, there are levels to these things. If you really want to do it, if you are serious about your, your commitment to Christianity, you need to join the workforce. You need to join a small group and you need to be very active. You can't be coming to church and people will not know you. We need to know each other and help each other grow. God bless you, everyone. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so that testimony blew my mind. Hallelujah. Remember... The, God, the, the word of God said, he said, in, the, in, the, in that day, the Lord will set distinction between they that serve him and they that serve him not. You don't want to be in that, you know, uh, congregation that will be tagged those who did not serve God. Hallelujah. So it's an opportunity for you to identify with the body of Christ and serve in the house of the Lord. You know what? There are definitely going to be a distinction in your life. Where men will be saying there is a casting down, for you it will be lifting in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says when you serve him, he will bless your water, he will bless your bread, he will take sickness away from you. These and many more are the blessings that accrues to serving God. I'd like you to just put hands together for Jesus as we celebrate for all he's doing. And please, around you, us as are sharing cards, if you want to identify to serve in the house of God, if you want to identify to join any of the workforce, any of the, any of the group, please collect the card, fill in your details. I'm also sure the, 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 the scan code is on the screen, please. Take a stamp and fill it, submit. As you do that, God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus as we welcome a sorted tribe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Can we stand up on our feet as we worship God tonight? Can you just surrender your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul to him? Can you tell the Lord, make me a vessel in the house? Take away my old wine skin.
to this God. Can you just follow your love? I am but matrimonio yes. I'm not there without you believe me for the for after the awareness awareness yeah what what you want me I'm not you be him come back to you me but I go but only your world yes You can choose to bless, you can choose to lead, and no man can quit. Have I told me, so that me, so me. Oh, have I told me, so my shadami, oh, so my oh, oh, Lara Mokoko. Have I told me, so that me. Worship him together. In the end, he's on the podium. You are the gallery. You are the overflow extension of your whole life. I can see.
This is my story. This is my story. Look for one more thing. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But grace. 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 This is my story. My God. God is good and kind to me. Oh, glory to God. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. We're going to spend about three minutes to pray. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. Oh, glory to God. When you pray, pray with the word. Don't only pray with the word. Pray from the New Testament. Pray as a believer in the New Testament. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4. He said, but God who is rich in mercy for his great love where he's loved us. It's a prayer. Father, thank you for being rich in mercy towards me. And Lord, I'm not asking for your mercy. You are rich in mercy towards me. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He said, your sins I will remember no more. He said, your iniquity I will not even call to mind. You, it's God rich in mercy towards you. Yes, sir. I, I'm not asking him Woo. to be. Lord, I'm thanking you. Thank because you, you are rich. Yes, not everyone have received mercy. Yes, yes. But I have received mercy. I have Everybody received say, mercy. my father, my father. My father. Thank you for being rich in mercy towards me. Uh, lift up your voice like a trumpet unto heaven and pray. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Thank you for being rich in mercy towards me. Thank you for being rich in mercy towards me. Timothy, the second prayer point. Oh, glory to God. Either you're watching online or you're in the auditorium and the gallery or you're in the overflow or extensions, it makes no difference. It makes no difference. Hallelujah. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 6. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 6. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Does anybody have a soft drink here? Maybe you bought a soft drink to church. I know you, you, you know, this is people who will not do that. But does anybody have a soft drink here by chance? Apart from water, maybe a Fanta, a Coke, something like that. Not pieces, soft drink. I want something that has gas. Gas. Is that some? Hey, you can pass it. Is that? Yeah, something that has gas. Now, look at this. This is a bottle of Sprite. If I... The gas will rise. Paul says something here to Timothy. He said, Timothy, you're going to go through times in life where you feel as if you're not gifted. Why is it as if your faith is not working? Have you felt as if you have no faith? But meanwhile, the faith is there. If, if you feel as if there's no peace, meanwhile, your peace is there. Because our peace is not based on feeling, it's based on revelation. Yes. So Paul says, Timothy, when you go through those times, he said, therefore, I put you in remembrance that you what? That you stir up, he said, you stir up the gifts of God. He said, the gift is there, but it's your duty to stir it up. Because the gift can settle. I don't know if some of you have used 
something like mixed mag, suspension drugs that has two different layers of liquid. If you leave the liquid there, you will see some will rise and some will settle. And the doctor will say, shake well before you use. Because until you shake it, the substance will not rise. Yes. There is substance on the inside of you. The depression is not meant to swallow you. Yes. There's faith on the inside of you. The troubles of life oh, is not meant to swallow you. There's grace on the inside of you. Yes. But your duty is to stand. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody say stand. Say stand. Say stand. The gift of God on the inside. Say I sell faith. I sell grace. I sell love. I sell power. I sell discipline. I sell boldness. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to I stand up hope, I stand up faith, I stand up love. Make a polo shaba like a polo dia. But a polo of a coprota I stand it up, I stand it up. I stand it up. I stand it up. I stand it up. Libra can't get the rope to get the rata. Rapa can't rip it. Banjo rip it. Libra robot it. Lega broke it. Rama can't say it. I just have to make a boss. I shut up the gift of God. 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 Patrick of the Padushi. In Jesus' name we pray. I declare on the inside that joy has been set up. Everyone that's been feeling down, I say joy has been set up. Joy. Everyone that's feel confused, direction has been set up. Amen. Everyone that feels troubled, peace has been set up. Amen. Everyone that is worried and fearful, faith has been set up. Amen. Everyone that feels stuck, blessings have been set up. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Say grace, Christ. Say grace, Christ. Say grace, Christ. Say, grace. Christ. Say this is my story. This is my story. Say it will not get better. It will not get better. It will not get better. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it will not get better. It will not get better. It will only get better. It will only get better. It will not get better. It will not get better. It will only get better. It will only get better. Ooh, I receive it. I receive it. Thank you, Lord. And the last one is just a proclamation. In Luke chapter 1, verse 19, the Bible says, And the angel said unto Luke chapter 1, verse 19. And the angel answered said unto him, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God. And I'm set to speak unto you and to show you good tidings. Anywhere you're expecting news from, yes, yes. receive good tidings. Yeah. I receive it. It will come as a meal. It will come as a phone call. Yes, yes. It will come as a discussion. Yes, yes. It will come as a text. Yes, yes, yes. It will come as an announcement. Yes, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good tidings of approval. Oh. They're going to call you and say your company's approved. My God, my God. They're going to call you and say your visa is approved. Amen. They're going to call you and say your banking is approved. Amen. They're going to call you and say your license is approved. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive news that makes you news. I don't know if you heard me. Receive news that makes you news. Amen. Receive news that makes you news. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. 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 It gets better. The Lord has raised you up from every side. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Just look at that scripture again. It said, I'm in, I am Gabriel. Oh, wow. And the angel answered unto him, I am, Gabriel, I am Gabriel, that stand in the presence of God, and I'm sent unto thee to show thee good tidings. Yes, yes. Wow. What a, word. what a 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 word. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor your holy name today. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. And at the center of it all, 
It's you that I see. That's you that I see. Center of it all. Yes, Lord. It's you that I see. Just bring your hands one more time towards heaven. At the center of it all. At the center of it all. As a woman in this place, you have a complication. It has to do with your reproductive system. I can see it in the spirit. You have a complication with your reproductive system. Anyone you are, will you lift up your right hand if you're the lady? Oh, yes. We're believing for a miracle for you right now. I, I wish I could touch you, but, you know, just because of time. Oh, yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you need to receive it because this is your moment right now. It's not another time. This is your moment. Let there be a miracle of correction. Oh, Rabba Shande Kumende Le Let there be a miracle of restoration. I break the power of ink and influence of the devil over your body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see someone, you had a minor accident, and one part of your body began to be very difficult to move. The Lord is healing you right now. Move that part of your body. Move that part of your body. The Lord is healing you right now. Move that part of your body. The Lord is healing you right now. You had, an, you had an accident and some part of your body became very painful to move. Move that part of your body. The Lord is healing you right now. Move that part of your body. The Lord is more healing you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have any kind of sickness, any kind of deformity in your body, just put your right hand on your chest as a sign. And as I pray for you right now, the same power in the name of Jesus that we read in the Acts of the Apostles will manifest. And right now, the miracle of God will take place in your body. The power of God will be manifested in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead, anywhere you are. Maybe it's a chest problem. Maybe it's a heart problem. Maybe it's a deafness. Maybe it's a liver problem. Maybe it's a kidney problem. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. And all you have to do is to receive in this atmosphere. All you have to do is to receive in this atmosphere. As I pray for you, the miracle will happen instantly because Jesus is good. Because his message and his grace endure forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. And right now, everyone under the sound of my voice, either watching live, watching from the overflows on the internet, I rebuke every spirit of infirmity. I rebuke every sickness. I command it to loose your body right now in Jesus' name. Everyone that has a lump, has a tumor, has a growth, I command it to dematerialize and come out of your body. I command every waist pain, every shoulder pain, every chest pain. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. I command every deafness. I command the deafness to go in Jesus' name. I command the PCS to go in the name of Jesus. 
I command every discharge to cease in Jesus' name. I said right now, receive healing in the name of Jesus. Miracles are taking place. Oh man, boko balabaya. Liba rabade marabataya. All of you that put your right hand on your chest, wave your hands and thank him, thank him because he is good and he has touched you. Thank him because he's good and he has touched you. Thank him because he's good and he has touched you. Someone had a hearing problem, you've been healed. Someone had a pain because of an issue, you've just been healed by the power of God. A dislocation has been healed, a waist pain problem has been healed, and hearing problem has been healed. Someone had a lump. It's a stump, it's a, it's a lump that's disappeared in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise today. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you praise today. Thank you, Holy Father. Son has a problem in the, in, in the leg area. You're being healed by the power of God. In Jesus' mighty name. This is what I wanted to do. Let me tell you what, how it is. Faith is not talk, faith is action. So this is what I'm going to ask you to do. All of you that prayed for healing, I want to ask you to do what you can do seven times. Someone says, well, you know, I don't want to look bad. What am I going to test it for my neighbor? But that's why you miss it. Because faith isn't receiving. So, oh, Masha, Valete, Mahasas. I want to pray for those that are struggling with depression. I just felt it in my spirit. As a matter of fact, there's someone here, you were completing suicide just in the last seven days because of how tough things were. Where are you? It's a lot of people you need to put their hands above your head. You know, where are you? You were contemplating. If you, well, there's no way I can see because I can't see those on the, on the gallery. If you're putting up your hands, I can I really can't see. I wanted to put your hands above your head and I will pray. You know, just because of time, I can't ask people to come forward here. It's going to take us a lot of time. But I just want to be able to identify the person. You know, if you're raising up your hand and I can't see you, help me get an usher to see you where you are. And they can just notify me that the person is upstairs or downstairs or at the back. You know, you were raising up, you, you were contemplating suicide. Okay, I've seen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Listen to me. While I'm saying, while I'm, while I'm talking to you, all of you that prayed for healing, begin to do what you cannot do because that's how you exercise your faith. If you could not bend, go ahead. I want to do this seven times. Don't stop until seven times. You need to do this seven times, seven times. Bend. Tap into your ears. If you need to use the restroom to check, go ahead and check. Go ahead and check that lump that was in your body, in your breast. Go ahead and check that ear. Go ahead and check quickly. Because the power of God is touching you right now. And all of you that are here, that you, you feel that depression. My prayer is this. That whatever that's caused you depression. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says when the Lord turned around the captivity of Zion. He said, well like them that dream. I speak a turn around. That that challenge will become a testimony. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That challenge will become a testimony. In the name of Jesus. The lady that is depressed concerning marriage. That will become a testimony for you also. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you heavenly father. I see someone that was falsely accused. It will become a testimony for you. In Jesus mighty name. Will you sing that song again? At the center of it all is you that are sick. And this is what I want to do. If you felt healed in your body, the symptom is gone. I wanted to come to my right hand side here or my left hand side here. I just wanted to come quickly. I just, yeah, I just want to come and just tell me what the Lord has done. And that would, yes. Yeah. Just step out of your seat quickly. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hands and let's worship Him together. Let's sing the song together. Of your seat, step out of your seat. Yes, they are coming, coming. Oh, yes, that's it. That you can see the cute moment. Come over this side. Or just, just direct them to the front. Just direct them to the front. Where are they? 
here and come to this top of this time. Bigger than the biggest, you are strong, stronger than the strong. You are high, higher than the highest. You are greater, you are greater, you are greater. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Praise God. We'll listen up for one minute. If you got healed in your sense, I want you to step out. Don't listen to me. You hold the testimony, but give God the glory. You hold the testimony. How do you give God the glory? By stepping out. I, I would love to shake your hands and pray over your testimony and declare that it's permanent. I would love to shake your hand and pray over it. Yes, go ahead. Just tell me. Yes, will you walk up to the front here? Yeah. Because I'd love to just pray over you as you come. Yeah. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Do you have a microphone on this side? You need to get a microphone on this side. Yeah. So I have a meniscus tear on both knees. I felt what does that mean? A tear to my meniscus. So in, I a tear to my meniscus on both knees. I fell from a vehicle. Just what does meniscus ago. mean? Because it's a cartilage in holding the knee, the knee bones together. So when you're moving, it's called, it prevents friction. Yeah. From the bones, the two bones clashing. So. What was the problem before? So the injury is more on my left because when I fell from the car, I fell this way. So the injury is more on this knee. Yeah. And when I came out, I sat him somewhere at the back. And of course, as usual, this one was stiff. So I find it difficult to move it. But while you were praying, I was praying and the devil was telling me, you're not going to be healed. You have been praying for healing since, right? And as I'm praying, I was feeling it holding People that are medicals, they understand what I mean. The joint here is a my, my dull meniscus tear. And here was stiff. And I was feeling the pulling in my knees. But I kept on praying. And when you said we should move seven times, I was moving and I was still feeling it. But I kept on saying, my healing is permanent. My healing is permanent. And then as I'm standing right now, I can't feel. And I have an appointment with the surgeon, 9.30 on Saturday. She asked me to bring the dicks of my MRI and I have an appointment with her on Saturday 9.30 and <laughs> I just thank God I just give wow. God the glory this is the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ how do you describe that how do you describe that yes will you, yes do, do you have a microphone yes tell me well, where's the lady I just want to touch your hands and pray and thank God for that miracle yeah that's what I want to do yeah for everyone that comes forward I just want to thank you and Father, thank you for this miracle because the giftings and the callings of God are without repentance and it's permanent in Jesus' name. You tell me. Yes, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, so I've been having, um, I will go with the first one, which is my waist pain. I've been having waist pain for a very long time. And anytime I go to the gym, I would always tell them, no, I cannot do the one for the waist because my waist was really high. So I'm, I can't, if I sleep, They'll say it's my waist. So at the office, they said, oh, change your mattress. Buy a new mattress. I said, okay, fine. I had to look for an orthopedic best friend and mattress to buy. But yet the pain was still on. And when you said waist pain, I just felt that pain gone. And the Praise second God. one is, I've been asthmatic for a very long time. I don't know, a lot of people that went to Friday and that's your, College of Buzo, And that's you your... Know, I always have my inhaler on. But I could feel that since my waist pain is gone... This as well is God. So I just want to give God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, what do you want to share? Is it weird? Yes, go ahead and tell me what happened, sir. Yeah. Just Praise. come up. Just come up. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, about three years ago, I was attacked by some hoodlums. And um, they hit me on my throat. I actually sing prior to that time. But ever since then, I find it very difficult to sing. So while you were praying, saying... So you, were, you had a physical attack and they, yes, they hit yes, you in your truth. Yes. And because of that, there was some damage in the torch area. Yes, yes. Okay. I, could, I couldn't even speak out loud for about three months. But after wow. that, I, I, I got healed though, but I couldn't really sing. But while you were praying, I put my hand on my throat and 
after the prayers, I had to sing at a high key, and I could do that sing very well. Sing at a high key. I've sent to all it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Hold on. You've not been able to do this for three years. Yes, sir. Three years. And just in one night. Oh, wow. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. There's a lady. Yeah. Good evening, church. Yes. Okay, so uh, my story was I had a very bad ulcer attack that landed me in the hospital for um, four days. Now, that is not where the problem was. So while I was in the hospital, they had to give me um, intravenous injections. So on this hand, I haven't been able to lift They gave you what? Intravenous injections. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Because the medicine wasn't working. Okay. Yes, so on this hand, um, they passed it through my joints. I don't know if it was a mistake on the hospital's part. And it caused a complication to my vein. Apparently, it burns my vein. So I haven't been able to lift this hand. And then they When did this happen? Um, this was, say, three weeks ago. Okay. So, because of the complication, what happened to your right hand? So, I couldn't move this hand. Wow. Yes. Yeah. My family members were really helping me with everything. So, this hand, I couldn't even clap. So, while I was singing, I was clapping in faith. My hand was paining me, but I was still clapping, you know, in faith. And, you know, while the healing was going on, I noticed that, you know, I wasn't feeling any pain anymore. Praise God. And now I can move my hand. Praise God. Wow. Wow. I wish we could take more testimonies, except you think we must really take one. Is there one we must really, really take? You know, yes, please. You know, we'll, you want us to really take one? You want us to take this one? Okay, dear, yeah, tell me, yes. Good evening. Good evening. It's January this year. Exactly, you need to hold the microphone closer because January of... January this year, exactly, um, wine press. I was really sick. Like, I prayed about it. I just thought maybe it's something small. But since then, I've been going to hospital. I've been on admission more than I've been on admission for the past seven years. This year, like in and out. So the drugs, they, I was diagnosed with um, autoimmune. And the drugs they gave me, they were so strong. Like they were having different side effects. For the past two months, a new one just came. I just woke up. I will not be able to see. You will not be able to see? Yes. I have to stay Hold on. on. Bed. You will just lose your sight. Yes. I'll My goodness. I've been in bed for like five minutes. I noticed that the pain was increasing. I noticed that it was entering during the day. Even in the office today, my eyes were pinning me like I couldn't see. But my boss was asking me what I was wrong. I said nothing. But I wasn't seeing him clearly. And so what happened tonight? So I didn't just think about my problems. I was just worshipping. And when you said, put your hand in your chest, I've forgotten about myself. I was praying for my friend that had a bad eyesight. And the next thing I just realized that ah, my eyes are open. I could see clearly. Like, I could, I was looking around. There was no blurry vision, no pain, nothing. Wow. And I just want to thank God to that. I believe that this is just the beginning. I know that uh, the autoimmune is gone because the doctor said that it's not treatable, it's just manageable. But it's gone forever. In Jesus' name. Can I hold your hands and pray with you? Father, thank you because you are good and you are kind. And it's gone forever. You're healed and your healing has come to stay. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Quiet. I can release you to have your sit. You know. Amen. Were you really blessed by that? I said, were you really blessed by that? Okay. Um, well, I was meant to teach tonight, but, you know, it went some other way. And um, we're grateful because it went that way. And we're grateful to God because, um, because of all the miracles that were, you know, that happened. I'm going to just share with you a scripture. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. Glory to God. Mark chapter 9 in verse 23. 
Mark chapter 9, verse 23. The Bible says, And Jesus said unto them, If you can't believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. You become what you believe. You become what you believe. John chapter 1 verse 12 says this. As many has believed on him, to them he gave the power to become. You must always remember, you become. And that's why what you believe matters. So if you believe that God hates you, then that becomes your experience. If you believe that God loves you, then that becomes your experience. You know, I was reading the other day in the Bible, in the book of John. And if you read the book of John, you will see John always saying that the disciples whom Jesus love it. Have you seen that before? What confused me was this. Matthew, Mark, and Luke never said so about John. But that was John's personal revelation of him. He saw God through that lens. You know the lens you have to see God through? God that loves me especially. God, listen to me. I don't know about you, but God, I have a place, special place in his heart. Like he loves me. He's always blowing my mind. I don't know why he's so kind to me. You become what you believe. The question that, what do you believe? So let me give you some example. What do you believe about yourself? I believe I'm favored. I believe that grace is my story. I believe that I, I have a beautiful life. Let me tell you how I think about my life. I think my life is a life on scholarship. What does that mean? It's sponsored. Like Jesus sorted everything out. I just came to receive of all that he has sorted out. That's so powerful. I don't believe it. I don't believe that they are chasing me. No, nobody is chasing me. And anybody that is chasing me is wasting their time. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Because I'm seated far above principalities and powers. I'm seated. How can they chase what is above them? So the first thing you want to ask yourself is this. What do I believe about me? Do you believe you're cursed or you're blessed? This morning, if you, if you missed this prayer this morning, go back and watch it. Because we read a scripture in the book of Numbers. And the, and the prophet said, I've received a commandment to bless. I cannot curse. He said, because they are not cursed. What happens to us is that as life happens to us, we begin to move our mind and begin to think, oh, I'm not blessed. Oh, things are not okay. Things are not okay. I'm not blessed. And that's not the way to think about it. You must remember. And how do you believe something? What you think about continu continuously becomes your belief. What you think about. So if you think you'll never be married, you said so. You will never be married. If you think life is hard, you said so. Then life becomes hard to you. Because remember, all things are possible to him that believes it. All things are impossible to him that does not believe. You want to raise some money? Do you believe you can? You want to get some license? Do you believe you can? So let me say this. The first thing is that victory is first on the inside than on the outside. Did you get that? Victory is first what? On the inside than on the outside. So what is victory on the inside? Just walk it on. And wrong believing will bring about wrong results. Negative beliefs will bring about negative experiences. You know, if you're close to me, I have a very funny habit. And people that are close to me know this. If you go and watch a movie together, and in between the movie, maybe it becomes very scary or just something like violent or dangerous, something that affects me, I just get up. I said, why you get up? I said, I can't pay to buy fear. I, I just can't. I, I, you know, I don't want to be having funny dreams. The reason why is that I have to guard what I hear. How can I? So I said, but you, bought, you paid for the ticket. I said, is it not my money? Because you must be careful. Consistent thoughts from your belief. Consistent thoughts from your belief. So you believe what you believe because you heard it consistently and thought about it consistently. What you believe is what you attract. The second one. What you believe is what you... So if you say there's no money in Nigeria, you attract the opportunities of making no money in Nigeria. What you believe, how do I know that? The Bible says... Proverbs chapter 22, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, your thought, will, your thought will attract his material equivalent in the physical world. Your thought will attract what? 
its physical equivalent in the physical world. So if you believe that there's something wrong in your life, you will find proofs that something wrong in your life. Because what you believe is what you... In fact, even in the non-Christian world, they call it the law of attraction. The question is that, what do you believe? And there are three things you need to... What do you believe about yourself? It's very important. It's, it doesn't matter what others say about you, but what do you believe about yourself? And every day, you must form a habit, and this is your take-home assignment. You know, this morning, I, I woke up and I told myself, I'm fulfilled, I'm loved, I'm confident, I'm anointed, I'm acute, I'm progressive, I'm successful because I need to tell myself those things. You know why? When I read the paper, that's not what I hear. What I hear is that you are broke, you're finished, you're doomed, things are not working out. So I need to tell myself what I believe. Didn't you notice Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 4 verse 18? He said, the spirit of God is upon me. He has anointed me. Jesus Christ was saying it himself. What you believe is what you attract. Would you do me a favor today? When you get home, or maybe you're right here, write the three predominant thoughts in your mind every day. Three things you think about and three ways you think about it. So, some of you, the predominant thought in your mind is, how will I make money? So, what do you think about? You always think about, ha, how hard it is to make money. How there's no support for money. And those things gradually form what? Your belief. Some people think about God, how God never hates them. Every time they think about how God never hears them. I don't think about that. I think that Jesus Christ is patient with me. I think he loves me. I think he pays attention to me. I think he loves me more than Satan hates me. I think I'm blessed beyond the cost. I think there's no, see, there's no greater love that God has for me. Listen, God cannot love me more. He loves me more than I love myself. And that's why when something goes wrong, I run to him. You know, when you come about loving Jesus... A lot of you, the reason why you don't love Jesus is that you, you, you've not come to a realization of how much he personally loves you. Like, he personally loves you. Listen to what he said. He said the hairs of your head are numbered. Even you, you don't know the number of the hairs on your hair. He numbers it. If God can number your hair, he will not find a husband for you. What are you drinking? Just imagine, you can buy a Lamborghini for someone, but you can't give money to buy your love rice. If God can number your hair, he will not plan for a job for you. If God can number your hair, he will, he, he, you'll be stuck in your finances. If God can number your hair, he can number your hair. When one drops, he didn't say one head drops. Number means that number 245.99A drops. If God can do that, you mean he can't fix your pregnancy and fix your womb? Then God must have his priorities wrong. And my God is not that kind of person. Just relax. The air of my head have been numbered. He has it under control. Rest in his grace. One of the things, let me tell you something. One of the things you have to really do is to surround yourself with people that, that are full of faith. So that they can speak positive words into you. Because all of us are going to have moments where we feel down. And that's why you're in this church, there are two opportunities. You must find a way to join the workforce. Don't just come on Sunday. I want you to join the workforce and say, I, I don't want to serve. It's not about serving the ushers. Let me tell you, the beauty about serving in church is not the service itself. It's the community of people. Of course, you can always get someone that you can do business with. You can always say someone you can get to date. You can always say someone you can get to do life with. But the more important thing that you'll find someone that can challenge your faith. That when you feel down, their words can lift you up. And if you're not in the workforce, you need to find a way to join this evening. Or join the workforce or join a cell and say, what cell is closest to me? Someone say, well, I can't make the cell meetings every time. It's not about making every time. It's about the community of people that can always speak into your life. The reason why is this. When you are alone in your thoughts, you will often get into trouble. Did you hear what I said? When you are alone in your thoughts, you will often get into trouble. Be careful of times when you are weak and alone. Those are dangerous times. Remember today, all things are possible to him that believe it. Believe that, believe that that dream will come to pass. Believe that the rest of this year will be way better than what it was before. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Were you blessed by that word? Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, just on Sunday, we're going to teach on faith. I'm going to teach on how to believe when it's difficult to believe. 
I'm going to teach about that in the first and second and third service. And in the fourth service, which I really want to invite, fourth service is changing people's lives. It's amazing. You, you see the tears. You see people tell you that I was depressed for this. I was struggling with this. And this has changed my life. Even people that are watching online. And um, this, we, we've been talking about emotional what? 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 Healing emotional wound. I, was, I wanted to make sure you get it. Healing emotional wound. So some people have gone through a lot of trauma, a lot of pain, and we're just really helping with that in Jesus' mighty name. All right, let's go ahead and give our titan offerings, and afterwards we're going to, you know, yeah, we're going to give our titan offerings just now. Are we ready? We're going to give unto the Lord. And someone says, why do we give unto the Lord? The Bible says this, that every time we come to worship, we should not come an empty-handed. The reason why is that our form of worship is in our giving. So when you give, you know, it, it's, I love, you know, social media would love to make it seem as if you're giving to a building. It's going to go into Pastor Bologi's pocket. And I wish I could do that. You know, but the truth is that every time you give, you actually give unto God. The pastor is just a custodian of it. Glory to God. Or either you're online or on site. We're just going to give today. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. All right. If you're titan, will you stand on your feet and let's receive our tithe? If you're giving your offering, let's go ahead and pray. And let's go ahead and receive the offering today. Hallelujah. Yeah, if a titan is stand up and receive our tithe, if you're giving your offerings, I mean, how can you give? The offering baskets will pass around. There's also giving details you can transfer on the screen. Your ATM cards will be at the, um, you can use your POS terminal to give with the ATM cards at the back of the halls. You know, some of you in the extensions, there might be no opportunity for the ATM there. So, but it's only in the main auditorium here. Hallelujah. So, if you're titan, stand on your feet if you want to, and you should. And if you're giving your offering, raise up your offering, and let's go ahead and pray. Can we pray together? Is it okay to pray? Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you because you're good and you're kind. I'm praying for everyone here today that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as they give their seed, that your blessing will be upon their seed. In Jesus' mighty name we're praying. We give you the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we're praying. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. While we're doing that, if today happens to be your first time in Harvesters, we would love to welcome you. Hallelujah. If you're a guest here, you know, the truth is that we don't really even feel you a guest. We feel as if everybody's family. But just because we want to appreciate you, if today happens to be your first time in Harvesters International Christian Center, will you please, um, you know, maybe the best thing to do is to ask you to stand on your feet. The reason why is that it's so dark. If you raise your hand, we will not see you. Will you just stand on your feet? We will also appreciate you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, wow. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Will you stand in the gallery? If it's your first time, just stand on your feet. Thank you. If your friend is not standing, just nudge your friend a little, you know, and say, hey, 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 stand up. Thank you. Uh, yeah, th thank you. Hey, hey, lady, stand, stand, stand. Nudge your friend. Nudge your friend. I would come, come, lady with polka dot, polka dot dress. Yeah, stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Who else is not standing that, you know, you need to be nudge a little, nudge, 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 nudge. All of you standing for the first time. Hey, I want to pray for you. That's the first thing. But the second thing is that I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking out your time to come. And I believe this is what we normally say in our church. Just come for how many months? Six months and you will see transformation. This is a place where lives are changed per day, per day, per day. And that will be your story. Can I go ahead and pray for you? The ushers will give you a card. Please write some a prayer request. We can use to pray for you. Father, we want to thank you for everyone that is here for the first time. We we'll bless you with the grace of the Lord. And I'm praying that you'll come to a deeper place in Christ. And you'll be filled with knowledge of his will. And you'll know him personally. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that, Lord, you will cut the, that your blessing will be upon them and upon their house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. can have your seat. The ushers will give you a card. And please, you can have your seat. Glory and glory and glory and glory. Obina, happy birthday. Obina, you know. Happy, Obina, happy birthday. I can see your wife cheering just beside you. You know, happy birthday, Obina. Oh, we're praying that um, you'll grow younger and um, have more gray hair. If you, if you so desire, you know, yeah, you know, go younger, you know, with some pop belly if you so desire, you know, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that's Obina, a birthday. Hallelujah. Uh, Toya, so you're back. I, I didn't know you were back. I, oh, wow. Okay, great, 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 great. Amen. Praise the Lord. Y Yinka, happy birthday also. You know, was Yinka's birthday. Yinka, come. Yinka is Sumi's baby. <laughs> what is it? 
<laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Is that you don't reveal anything? Is it? <laughs> So he's frozen on our seat. <laughs> I was <living>. <laughs> <laughs> I should finish me. I'm over. <laughs> she what? <laughs> this is a Holy Ghost moment, so like Holy Ghost is just walking. <laughs> you apologize in advance. <laughs> Praise God. Happy birthday. Uh, and you got wonderful, let me see. Uh, from the woman of God. What? From the woman of God. One of the gifts. Yes. But the main gift was what? They still want, oh, they still want today as well. So it's all through the week. She gives a gift every day of the every week. Day. You know, I was wondering when she sang that song, my daddy, my daddy, I was thinking, oh, it's not you, my daddy, my daddy. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Next week will be phenomenal night of worship. Phenomenal night of worship. We have Abby. How many of you have heard the song? Behold. Behold. Huh? Behold unto your form. Yeah, you know, Abby and Caleb will be here. You know, it's a, it's a double combination because Abby will be here. Then phenomenal senior praise and worship leader Caleb will be here. And it's going to be, you know, if you've not, if you've not had praise and worship before, next week will be off the chat. Amen. Glory to God. Let's go ahead and stand on our feet and let's receive the ministry of Somi Sola Agbeki. David. Let's go ahead and receive our ministry. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and receive our ministry today. Let's go ahead and receive our ministry today. the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I think our hallelujah can be louder than that here. Yeah? I am. Wherever you want this house, just raise your hands to Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. I am in the only of all. I am. Stand to him tonight. Arabam bambe la brasora gabara de soria. Lord, we hear. Arabam bake lo rusa hande marate. Erada bako sabla na mataya da. We hear. Erada bako lo sande kakatiya da. Oh, 
Si puju sono pari Chori be wani e mi mi mo Ro a para o lu Jo ora a para o lu Ro ro a para O rabate ko shabaradayada Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench the thirsty of my my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I want no more. I fill my heart. Jami Oluba La Bo Adurami Ba Chiwa Ba Felo Be Omo Da Fidi Bo Arada Ba Kosha Da 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 Ba Rada Ya Moni Jesu Je Rest of eternity, 
Just lift up your two hands. Don't sing again. Just love him in his holiness.
Tizada Baru Delia de Barade Semia Caramana Tivaro Mana Diane 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 Celia Caramba Urua Celia Diane Cabala Urua Cabe Mandera Bambem Bentosa Ai Cueva La Cela Emia beautiful thing about his presence is the assurance that comes with it. And the Lord is filling you with assurance tonight. He's granting you guidance tonight. I pray that you'll be more aware of his presence in your life. The church I led to pray I love the way they call it. On Lord Rue Me and On Holy. I've been looking for the perfect translation of that into English. Help her. I've not found it. On Lord Rue Me and On Holy. The Lord that owns the spirit that dwells in the prophets. to value your presence. Help us to put premium on your presence. Oh God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to close in, a, in about two minutes. Listen please. There's a word of prophecy. Thus yet the spirit of grace and supplication of a truth you are in the dark times in the last days as I've told you in my word that this time will come he said I'm bringing you comfort being a keta susupete being a keta susupete I'm bringing you comfort and letting you know that there is no cause for you to fear for the exemption is on you for darkness shall cover the earth and cause darkness to people. He said, but your light will rise up in the darkness. He said, but your light will rise up in the darkness. Yes. 
for my glory is super top higher. Leap or shut up for my glory is in you, says the Spirit of God. And my glory is in you, says the Spirit of God. And I'm rising, I'm rising, I'm rising on the inside. And I'm rising on the inside. And it doesn't matter what goes on the outside. You will be victorious, says the Spirit of grace and supplication. Father, we give you praise. Amen. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Please have your seats. If you can, I know some of these chairs are scattered. Some people are on the floor. If you can, just have your seats. I want it to be reflective. I want it to be meditative. I, I, I don't want to reflective, meditative. One of the things the Lord has blessed our ministry with is a clear demonstration and manifestation of his presence. We, it's, not, it's just one of the things when you come to a harvest service, the presence of the Lord is seen and felt. It's one of the blessings. There is an atmosphere of the super lunar or the supernatural that prevails in the meetings. And if you're new to it, I understand but it's just the Spirit of God working in and through people. Glory to God. As we close this evening, I want to ask, if you're here and you're not born again, I want to give the opportunity to get born again. And I'm going to ask you for just one thing. Just stand up on your feet and say, I want to do it. And when you do that, I will get the time to pray for you and pray with you. Hallelujah. Anybody making that decision tonight? Yeah, just stand on your feet. You know, someone says, how do I know I need to make that decision? If you felt excluded, if you felt as if I don't have this, that means the work of the Holy Spirit is not in my life. Then you don't have it. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, then you're not a Christian. If you have the Holy Spirit, you're a Christian. Glory to God. If you want to have that deep experience of God, anywhere you are, just stand on your feet. I would love to pray for you this evening. I know it's a tall order for some people because your friend will be like, well, you understand? But it's not about your friend, it's about you right now. It's about you right now. I wish I could tell you to raise up your hands, but that's not the way I feel to let you go. Just stand on your feet. Do I have people standing in the gallery? Thank you. Thank you, standing. Thank you. All of you that are standing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for standing. Thank you for standing. Any more, any more person standing? Can I give just five, five more seconds to it? If you want to stand, all the people that are standing, I'm asking in the gallery at the back, stand quickly. If you feel as if I need this, just stand on your feet. Stand. Awesome. Awesome. Can I get 10 more people to do that, that are considering? Can you 10 more people that are considering? Just stand, just stand and say, I want to make that decision tonight, that decision this evening. I used to have it, I've lost it. I need to make, stand quickly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just before, just we're going to pray right now, just in case anybody needs to stand. And if you're standing, make sure that the ushers can see you so that we can help you in a newfound faith. Say with me, say, Heavenly Father, I thank you because today, I've received the message of the gospel that you died for me. You were raised from the death of my justification. And today, I'm making a bold declaration by standing that I believe in the sacrifice of Christ on the cross of Calvary. I accept him into my life and I make him Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Call me Lord. You are Lord of my life. I'm a new creation right now because your word said so. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you did that, the Holy Spirit has come into you. Jesus has come into you as Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. If you got the cats, return to the ushers. Any of the cats, return to the ushers. We're going to close the service right now. I'm just going to close the service and allow the band. Just keep playing. Just keep playing. Amen. Were you blessed tonight? Yeah. Some of you are in a hurry to go home. We understand. Some of us just want to stay here and bask. And some of our pastors will stand here. And if you need someone to pray for you or anything, just walk up to our pastors that are standing here. Let the pastors come and take their position. Let the pastors come and take their position. You know, maybe you need prayers for some things. You may need to leave your things with one of the two or three of the protocols. True, my help me organize the protocol to support the pastors. We just need some of them to come and stay here. Just stay here. Hallelujah. And surely... Amen. Friday, we'll be fasting on next level prayers. We're praying against every form of delay, either it's marital or anything. 
Tomorrow, Next Level Prayer continues again. Next Sunday will be phenomenal. I want to really challenge you to think of coming for the first and the fourth service. It will be phenomenal in the first and the fourth service. Thank you. God bless you.